Okay, so whenever I come across a tool or a piece of software that I find useful, I like to share it with you guys so you too can benefit from it. And today is one of those days. Or should I say that today is the Tool Tuesday. Okay, we can talk about the name later, but for now, let's get to it. The tool I want to show you today is called Fig and it will make your life easier, more productive and enjoyable when working with Terminal. I really believe that you can benefit from using Fig whether you are a beginner developer or more advanced engineer. If you are more of a junior developer, Fig will make using the terminal a lot easier. And if you are more of a senior developer, I believe Fig will make you more productive and who knows, maybe you learn a new thing or two while using it. Okay, so what is this Fig tool? Well, let's go to the fig.io front page. And when we land on this page, uh, you might think that, okay, Fig is some kind of an autocomplete tool for your terminal. Well, that's partly correct, but not quite. Because what Fig actually is, it is an app ecosystem for your terminal. So the people at Fig actually built this uh, simple JavaScript API called the fig.js. And what that does, it makes it easy to extend your terminal and shell with visual apps and shortcuts. And they actually just started out by building this autocomplete tool for your terminal. So how does it then work? Well, let's take a look. So you can download it from the front page. So once you have downloaded it and installed it, I'm gonna open up my terminal. So right here, I have actually my Visual Studio code open and terminal over there, because that's the terminal I most use. This would work in any other terminal also on my computer, but let's test it out in the VS Code terminal. So I have the fig installed, and now when I start typing, for example, cd to change a directory, we can right away see that it suggests the folders that I can cd to. So let's, for example, go to the pages folder, and then it will again suggest what folders we can cd to, and let's say we want to go to the API like this. So this makes it really easy to change between folders, and you don't have to like ls at every uh, single folder. Another thing I think this is really good at is with using git. So if I type in git, it will automatically suggest different options I can do. So I could, for example, git pull, and then it will suggest the remotes I have. And right now I only have the origin remote, so I'll choose that. And then it will also list the branches over here. So let's say I want to pull the main branch, and I can run the command just like that. Uh, another good thing is if I type in git commit, it has this uh, git commit shortcut. So if I select that, it will uh, type in the command and then I can just type in the message right here. So it's a little bit faster and easier to use this command. And the last thing I want to show you, which I think is pretty cool, is when I type in yarn, it will, of course, give the uh, possible yarn commands I have over here, but since I'm inside of a Next.js application, so we have this uh, package.json file over here, it will also display these dev, build and start, and they are actually the scripts that I have defined inside that package.json file. So if we take a look at that package.json file, we can see that over here we have the scripts right here. So uh, the fig autocomplete actually detects all these and then suggests them when you type in the yarn command. And this is very handy, at least for me, I never remember the scripts, uh, if it's even a little bit the kind of script that I don't use daily. So that's very handy in my opinion. So those are some of the things that I have used the most uh, when using fig. And if we go back to the web page and scroll down a little bit, we can see that right now they support over 300 CLI tools, including uh, Git, as we saw, the files and folders, NPM, Docker, uh, Google Cloud, and AVS, just to mention a few. And then if we scroll down again a little bit, 
there is this section build your own. So apparently we can also build our own completions using TypeScript. And this is something I haven't used personally, but uh, I think this is pretty cool and it has a lot of potential. But as I said, I haven't tested this out, but maybe that's something I will do in the future. And then uh, right here we have some testimonials. So it looks like it's very liked in the community. And over here we have the last thing I want to talk about. And this is something that is coming soon. So it's the uh, app ecosystem for the terminal. So we can actually build our own apps with the fig.js API. And they have this video over here showing different uh, examples that you could make. So uh, there is some Git stuff using the folders in the terminal and then making, uh, for example, Google searches from the terminal like it shows over there. So that's something I'm really looking forward to. And maybe that's a video I will make in the future uh, creating one of these applications. Fig is also quite a new product. I think they launched like late last year. So that's why they only have the autocomplete tool right now. But as we saw, there is a bunch of cool features coming up. So I'm really looking forward to those. But the autocomplete tool alone, I have found it very, very useful already. I've been using it like for the past month. So that's why I wanted to share it with you guys too. And hopefully you try it out and also uh, find it useful. And Fig is not the only tool I use. I actually have a set of tools that I pretty much can't live without. And they really also make me a better developer. What's this video over here next to learn about those tools and also find out how they can make you a better developer. What do you think? Should I start with this? Yeah, that's a bad joke. <laughs>